feel like you people like that one. Yeah, it's that one. Little pop gun. That's what these guys have. Okay, so what are we going to call this? I need a list of patrons. No, I haven't. This is going to be the Donbassos. We are going to start building some Donbassos tanks. We'll take off something like that. Let's get a decent number of them going. Yeah. Okay, new research. Could actually go up to the next engine level. But I think what we also need to do is... Upgrade our artillery so we can get better guns. You can put jet engines on light tanks, can you? So here's a question. Do you get engineer for defending river crossings or just attacking them? Has modify a river crossing. I think it's only if you're defending. Oh, sorry, attacking. Which he will be getting, but I'm not. And we're getting a tremendous amount of air experience. So we could definitely make some absolutely stonking zeros. I think I'm going to go for the Silent Workhorse now. See if we can get our general staff up and running a bit quicker. You should be getting Engineer. Yeah, see, you're getting Engineer. Which, long term, is going to be useful, so I'm kind of okay with this. It's just that my motorized divisions are s pretty significantly stronger than the Marines. At the moment. I do want to go ahead of time. That's why we got the industrial guy early. What actually are the Marines like? Pretty standard. I mean, we could go and start fleshing those out. I need to cancel one of you there to do this. That's as much as I can add for the moment, but that sounds like a good plan to me. We just want to make these stronger. Attack across the river, then attack across the river again just to get to the same side. AI logic. And this is why an AI will never be a threat to humanity. <laughs> He really needs that engineering skill. I mean, that honestly is the reason I'm not stopping him. These fights are purely a way to get those skills together. Um, how is the ship production going? We're on to the big boats now so we have more than enough naval experience to upgrade some other stuff however we haven't actually got the technology to upgrade them yet
anti turn Pact. Germany proposes that we sign a pact to address the Comintern's goal of spreading communism worldwide. Through use of subversion and violence, by signing this pact, we agree to share intelligence on the communist threat and also be in close cooperation against this menace. I don't know. So we don't want to piss off the Soviets more than we don't want to piss off the Germans, right? This vote will be at the hearing of crimes against the AI overlord of Madrid. Yeah, possibly. <clears throat> Will you be able to do what the Imperial Japanese Navy in real life could not sink the Grey Ghost? What's the Grey Ghost? I guess we'll join it. Anyway, nationalising war stuff is done. We can go to total mobilisation, but I don't think I want to do that. <clears throat> oh, except we can get spiritual mobilisation at the same time. So maybe we do. Because this is just ramping up our own economy. And then spiritual mobilization counteracts the effects of it. We'll still have 2% recruitment. Every citizen must be made to see the urgency of transforming our nation into a bastion capable of withstanding any assault. I'm astonished you don't need to be at war to do this. But sure. I really wish this fight would hurry up and end so I can start counter-attacking them. Although if I were to counter-attack right now, we would stomp them. Yeah, we need to start working on the destroyer upgrades so we can get those prepared for a proper fight. We could start working on air doctrines. No, I'm actually going to save the points. Because I want to upgrade my fighters with extra range. Get me that range and then we can start working on the doctrines. There we go. Now we're starting to get some engineering skill with Imamura. And he's a marine, so he should actually be fighting across these rivers. is currently showing as low but that's more because I just upgraded your template as opposed to you actually taking casualties. So that's fine. Yeah, that's basic armor protection. Um, oh wow, we're actually really low on steel. Might need to buy some of that in. And yes, I know I'm still not building planes. I will, soon. Watching on both the Xbox One and my phone, there's a delay of about 10 to 15 seconds between them. Yeah, I've noticed those weird delays with different platforms. Like, even watching on two different browsers, there can sometimes be a delay. Mordra Japan, best Japan. Oh, thanks. 
checkpoint. Now we're losing the fight in Zaragoza. That's not possible. Lost about 3% of your strength, but that's going up. These guys, meanwhile, have lost a lot more. Which is annoying, because trucks are more expensive to replace. But you've got 35% cavalry leader and 10% engineer from this, so I'll allow it. And you don't have the negative traits anymore. So you should also just be gaining skills. And in fact, I think you... No, you started level 5. And you gain 10% less experience as well. Which for a field marshal is bloody annoying because they gain experience slowly as it is. Oh, you start with Engineer. But it does look like we are starting to get these civilian factories out nice and quickly at the moment. And then once I think this set is done, we'll switch to militaries. Although, we really do need to be buying in some steel. Who do we like? Manjuko. In fact, there we go. Steel supply sorted. National Defense State. Construction. So let's get spiritual mobilization just so I don't lose all of my manpower. By cultivating these tenets of Shinto that play on the people's sense of military duty, we can increase the amount of new recruits. Don't let me stop you. Gotta keep that planning prep. Right, what other rivers are we fighting over? There's a river. I mean, theoretically there's a river here too. You know what? That's a more important river. And it's closer. Just waiting for the anarchists to appear, though. Because you know what's going to happen after this. That tank, the, uh, the, the trucks are going to have gone crossing river to attack here, crossing river to attack here, crossing river to attack here. Just like, I want to fight all of the rivers. Marines, though. Marines, I will. And this guy is being incredibly dangerous because as soon as that fight's over, we counter attack and we win. And there we go, we cut them in half. Guys attacking down that way. Off you go. And <laughs> there it is. Regional Defense Council of Aragon. Perfectly timed. Hey, they took my province. That's cheating. 
Continued government attempts at reasserting centralized control over the mostly independently acting anarchist communes in northeastern Spain, as well as Stalinist repression of dissident communist viewpoints, has now led to full blown infighting in the Republican Front. I just want to make sure that I take Tortosa back, seeing as, you know, I fought for that. Uh, we can get another political advisor. At this point, we probably want the War Industrialist. So we can get those military factories going nice and quickly once we are at that stage. Fun fact, there is a Rear Admiral James Kirk serving in the US Navy. Is there really? When do we start playing Marco Polo with China? Probably relatively soon. Like, I'd like to get down to agility focus and then probably Marco Polo. enough to add some artillery and some cavalry recon or motorized recon or light armor recon that's probably even better what land bonuses do these give River movement, forest, hills, mountain, plains, jungle, marsh, and desert. River, plains, and desert movement. River, plains, desert movement. Look at this. Actually, what about the cavalry? Cavalry is much the same as Harmad Recon. Except Armored Recon has a plus 9 breakthrough. So we need to keep building light tanks for them. Fuel is getting low, that's true. Especially in the light of the fact- Oh, hello, sorry you. You are an acceptable size carrier. And then we also have a light cruiser, which is a bit eh. <clears throat> yeah, see, you've got the extra front bit. So I'm wondering if we upgrade Ryuyo to a Soryu. That's exactly what I need. <clears throat> what are you? Zuho. Converted battleship. Super slow. I'm actually going to cancel you. Not interested. Rather build one of the new models. Okay, this civil war is now going very, very well, which is nice to see. 
And then I think I need to start buying in a tiny bit of fuel from... Dutch East Indies. Let's, let's build up their industry for no reason in particular. And we can also, I think, stop buying in steel from you because I don't need it anymore because we're not building all of the carriers, all of the uh, capital ships. Fantastic. We managed to gain some skills. I reckon this guy's done a lot more. Yeah, he's actually well on the way to getting cavalry leader already, which is an excellent achievement. And we've gained a ton of experience from this conflict too, so pretty good all around. And there's the spiritual mobilization. So with that done, we're now going to get the army expansion law, fighter modernization, agility focus. Although, thinking about this now. Yes, this works. Our government must have as one of its core tenets the immediate and dramatic increase of our military forces. I'm actually thinking at the moment that I should get army expansion and then start on the 1940 fighter and then air modernization. Then we can have the 1940 fighters with massively upgraded air experience and also the agility aircraft designer. And our fighters are going to be in the early war unstoppable. Which actually feels historic for Japan. The Zeros are a damn good plane. Okay, Imamura now seems to be getting more stuck in the fight, and his marines are also quite a bit stronger. Depth charge throw done. After a long and concerted effort to improve cooperation and compliance between our occupation force and the local civilian authorities, we are now ready to put control in the Marinara Federation back in the hands of local government. Yes, do it. Collaboration government's great, because it means they get their own focus tree and they can get even more industry. Probably one of the most broken mechanics in Heart of Iron. Uh, speaking of broken mechanics, I think I also want to start creating a... Actually, do I? I was thinking we could create a collaboration government in China, but we don't need to. We have one already. It's called Manjuko. Now, I want to start getting these fighters done, so that we can then use the 100% bonus on the next tier. Hindenburg. The passenger airship Hindenburg was destroyed today while attempting to dock at the Lakehurst Naval Air Station in the United States. For reasons not yet determined, the airship was engulfed in flames and crashed to the ground, claiming 35 lives. What were you researching? Industry. Definitely need fuel refining. Still going to want an intel agency. Yeah, but the later you do that, the better. Because the problem with the intel agencies, they are super, 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 super hungry in terms of civilian factories. And I'd much rather my civilian factory was building more factories. Trickster, organizer, engineer, and infantry leader. Nice. And I was going to say, do we have a surplus in trucks yet? No. Not quite, though we're not far off. We also have 120 Donbass sauces already. So I'm wondering, can we add... No, it costs 25. A Donbass sauce to our motorized units. Should be getting some urban fighter now as well. Yes, you are. Fighting in Valencia. Well, don't let me stop you. Keep going. Dockyards available. 
Interesting. That means we built all of this. Hmm. What am I going to need? Well, I need to refit my destroyers once I have active sonar. So I think in this short term, we're going to get some more convoys going until I can do the refits. We still have plenty of steel, so that's all good. And we are still 37. We could probably do a logistics companies fighting in China. Two technologies I really need right now. We are currently researching, so that's all good. Isn't that a Portuguese unit near Valencia? It is, yes. I mean, Portugal is fascist in this, so there's nothing stopping them getting involved. Oh, no, they're not. They're non-aligned. My bad. Now, one thing we are going to need to start doing more seriously is actually uh, preparing our armies for an invasion. So, these units, which are currently garbage garrison. Speaking of garbage garrison, how garbage is garbage garrison? They're not actually terrible. And we are going to need a lot of them to defend all the islands and things from the United States when it comes to that. I'm actually going to make them slightly smaller. The question I'm kind of asking myself is do I want to upgrade them to regular infantry for the war in China? And the answer is kind of. Actually, cancel those. I'll upgrade the cavalry. Let's go ahead and train. Have a bunch of those in training so that we can defend our various islands and things and homelands. And then the units that we have in the field right now, we're going to switch out to being infantry. We'll make you low priority. Make you high priority. And then we'll need to start working on how exactly we want our armies divided. 